So one thing I've always been a fan of is a good old side hustle. Whether I'm working a nine to five job or trying to build a business of my own, I'm always looking at different ways to diversify my income and earn that little bit of extra money on the side. Now over the past five or six years, and especially in the last 12 months, this list has changed quite a lot. So I thought today I would give you like a 2023 update on what I am doing to earn a little bit of extra money in my spare time. Freelancing. I just think that if you're in the creative industry like myself, then freelancing just makes sense. I just think, number one, you're going to be able to earn a little bit of extra money. Of course, that's never going to be a bad thing. But number two as well, if you are actually doing some freelancing work, you're actually going to be able to improve your skills in terms of what you're actually doing. And you can potentially take that back into the workplace and it could potentially even help you progress your career. In terms of the freelancing gigs that I've been taking on right now, it's been things such as video editing, photography and some web design on the side as well and I've been really enjoying it. It's been bringing me in around about anywhere between $500 to up to around $2,500 every single month. Obviously this number is going to be up and down because unless you're getting a retainer from your clients, which is something I'm aiming for as well, it's never going to be a consistent income like a salary would be but that's something that I understand as a freelancer. YouTube. Now if you have been following this channel and you've been a subscriber for a couple of years now you may be surprised at this income being included in my 2023 update simply because of the fact that I posted like four times this year. But the great thing about YouTube is that every single video that I make whether it gets a hundred views in the first day or a thousand views in the first day that video is looked at by me as an individual asset that can potentially sit there forever and earn me passive income for the entire time that I am allowed to be on YouTube, which could potentially be forever. Whilst you can see that the overall views of my channel have dropped massively, I still have some videos earning me a high RPM, which is basically how much you get paid per 1000 views. And right now I'm still earning anything between 50 and $100 every single month, which is pretty much 95% passive income because I have put almost zero hours into my YouTube channel in 2023. Digital products. This is a relatively new side hustle for me and it's actually one I probably should have focused on a long time ago and it's one that I'm actually going to focus on quite a lot this year but essentially a digital product could be something that I created digitally of course and it can be hosted on the internet and the best thing about it is that it can be purchased as many times as possible. Now I much prefer the idea of this rather than selling physical products which is something I actually used to do on Amazon and eBay. You would notice depending on how long you have watched my channel for. Number one is that you don't need to store the products anywhere because everything is online. Number two is because there is absolutely zero limitations or ceiling that say in terms of how far I can scale this. The only time and money I put in up front is the time that I took to create the asset. It's then there on the internet forever. And number three, it just makes sense for me as a creative person to be able to have these digital assets online because I feel this is where I can really provide value opposed to just selling random products in which I used to do. Right now I just have the one digital product that is available for purchase. This is actually an investing course for complete beginners and you'll be able to find that and purchase it on my new online store. I will leave a link in the description for anybody interested. It's the perfect course for anybody looking to get started with their investing journey and it actually leads me nicely onto my next side hustle which is dividend payments for my investments. Now when you go ahead and make an investment into stocks or shares or maybe even a fund or something like that, depending on the type of that investment you may be entitled to a quarterly payment in the form of a dividend and basically a dividend is a yearly payment which is broken down into quarters and it's almost like a thank you from the company or the fund just to say thanks for investing with them. Currently right now I've got a couple of different funds and individual stocks that do pay me a dividend. For example one of my funds VUSA has paid me roughly $110 in dividend payments, another fund VMID has paid me roughly $50 and my investments into Apple Apple and Coca-Cola have been paying me around $40 per quarter. And I know it doesn't really seem like a life-changing amount of money and I have had to invest around $40,000 to be able to get payments like that. But the one thing that we shouldn't forget is that number one, I'm doing absolutely no work to be able to receive this income. It's just an interest payment almost coming into my account every single month. And number two, because I am taking all of the profits from those dividends and reinvesting them into buying more shares alongside adding money of my 
my own, these dividend payments over the next 5, 10, 15, or maybe even 20 years are only going to compound and grow. But personally, every time I do see a dividend payment come into my account, it always does put a little bit of a smile on my face, simply just because of the fact that I've had to do zero work to receive it. It's simply just like a exaggerated interest payment into your account, but you do have to put up a lot of money up front to be able to see any decent returns from that. But investing is such a good way to grow your income, and it's a great way to secure your financial future which is actually why I'm going to leave a discount code for that investing course. I'll put it on the screen right now. So if you did want to go and check it out, you can get it for 50% off and it should work out to being around under $10 just for that one hour course. Affiliate marketing. Now this is one of my favorite side hustles of all time and it's something that I've been doing for around six or seven years now. And the reason why this is, is because number one, not only can I earn a little bit of extra money on the side, but secondly, it's actually pretty rewarding. Basically the way that affiliate marketing marketing works is essentially what you can do is recommend products to your friends or followers depending if you're a creator online or anything like that and essentially if they were to click on your affiliate link which you can post in your YouTube description or on your blog or anything like that even on your social media profiles and they were to purchase the product that you're recommending you will earn money in the form of a commission and it's almost just like a thank you payment for helping them sell their product. I love this way of making money because basically something that I have always done before I even knew about this affiliate marketing thing is I have always loved sharing the things that I'm into whether it could just be a music track or a product I'm using or something that I'm doing in my spare time to earn extra money like I'm doing with you guys right now I have always loved sharing and the fact that I can actually share things that I'm passionate about and which I think can help you because they've helped me in the past and earn money on the side from it it's just a win-win scenario for me. And you don't need to be a YouTuber like this to be able to do affiliate marketing. You can simply just be on social media. You could have a website or a blog or something like that. Or you can even just text affiliate links to friends and family. And if they were to click on it, you're going to earn money. You do not need to be an influencer. It's just such a great way of earning an extra bit of money on the side for recommending products that you like. Now, because most of my affiliate income does come on the back of my YouTube channel, and because I haven't been posting that much recently, it has taken a little bit of a dip. Right now, I'm earning anywhere between $400 to $600 a month from my affiliate partners. But if we were to go back to my heyday, let's call it around two years ago when I was posting all the time and I had some really good affiliate partnerships set up, which I have unfortunately lost right now, I was actually earning anything up to around $5,000 every single month just from affiliate links. Buy to let property. Now I've added this one as almost like a half or a 0.5 of a side hustle, simply down to the fact that over the past three years, up until March of this year, I've actually been renting this property out for around $1,500 every single month to a tenant, but due to me moving house and needing a temporary place to live, I've obviously had to take this apartment back, so I'm not earning any income from it as of right now, but I am looking to get this rented out once again by the end of the year, and because I've been receiving rental income for the last three months this say from it just before I moved in, I feel like I should have included it in this list. But essentially, they are my side hustles. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.